Hey there guys, welcome to my channel. Well, this is a tutorial on how to open your Starlink. As you see here, I have a 3D printer pry tool that I'm tapping with a plier. I would not recommend a hammer. You might just uh, destroy your dishy here. So just gently tap around. What you are trying to do is create, uh, you're trying to basically separate the gray and the white part of the shell so you just need to gently tap all the way around the dishy and you can see right here as i tap see how it's dry in there so what you're doing is you're just gently separating that uh, seal that starlink put in there to basically seal your dish but so here you can see just tap 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 and get to the edge tap around you see, I'm not going too deep. I'm not hitting it too hard. The plier is not that heavy. And move it around like a key. And voila, it is open. Once you open it up, you will see two cables. One is for the motor, one is for your Wi Fi router. You just unclip those, and after that, your dishy is completely been separated. As you see here, there is no push tabs of any sort that you need to release. It is just held by this glue or something that Starlink SpaceX uses to seal the dishy. So there you go, clean cut. See, if you go too deep, you might damage this white part of the shell. So after you have opened the dishy, you have taken it out, you will be left with the inner shell. You can save that for future use. Your motors and everything is not damaged. Everything is intact in place for later use. It's available. Now the second thing I did, take your Wi-Fi router, put a steel wire inside of this, and then you just slice it. The way I did it was I went back and forth with the wire inside, and I just pulled it all along the edges, and boom the glass came off successfully and once that came off you'll see this one two and three and four you just take a Phillips screwdriver you can twist it and break these tabs off but be very gentle not to break them once you take those off and you will remove this metal shielding and there is your Wi-Fi router it is connected through these pins right here so you can gently gently move it and voila there is your router now this is what we're going to be using throughout your whole video because this is all you need to get Wi-Fi and connect to the dishy because my main pers purpose of this whole mod is not to use a PoE injector or try to solder anything here because I want to be able to use this later in the original method that you it comes with so later if I wish I could just go ahead and put this back the way it came from factory match these pins and voila I can actually put this back so whatever I'm doing my whole mod that you're going to see all my modification that you're going to see is reversible so I can go back and use this just the way it came now after you have taken all this out you have taken out your Wi-Fi module now let's move on to the next step what you are going to be doing is taking a last portion of your cable and you're going to just cut it and after you cut it I will give you a pinout of exactly what I did but what I did was I looked into the original dishy and I matched the colors and bought this connector. You can buy this, these connectors off of different websites. I will also write down what is the name of this connector in the description. It's by DigiKeys or Newark. I ordered both because I was not sure which one was correct, but uh, I will post down in the description below. So these are the connectors and these are the pins. I got those. Then I made my own connector, which just went ahead and click there you get there you go so once I have this now this goes into the router correct 
Now you take the router, okay, and you connect this directly into the router, which now leaves you with, I'm going to put a tape, as, as you can see it's moving around. Just for demonstration purposes, I later might make a little mount to hold it in place, but for now I will just do this just for demonstrations. Now, if you see right here, I have made the Wi-Fi module and the dishy connected all together in one spot. What is the next thing that comes is power because that was the main thing we took out of the dishy, right? Now, here we go. This is a servo cable. I took three pins, which came as part of my uh, like a little Arduino board I had for fun projects so it comes with these little cables I took a few of these the single ones and I had a red one for 12 ground is the black white one is for 48 volts and at the very end because remember I said these are singles I took three pins I bent them which you can insert now and then after that I super glue the edge so that way it stays in this shape so it became like a connector so now if I take this and I just go ahead and look in there I click it and if I click I am done that was that simple now if I just connect this here this is a working Starlink ready to go don't believe me I mean, I'm, I don't, I'm not saying you don't, but just to prove it, I connect these two, everything's there, open up my app, make sure everyone can see, there we go, Starlink is on, now we go in here, boom. Calibrating your Starlink. So you could see Starlink is connected, Wi Fi router is also connected, and it is working. Obviously, it's not going to work and go online because it's upside down, but as you can see with the demonstration, that you're able to connect like that. And if you need, you can easily just unplug and then remove the port and voila you can put it back by disconnecting this into your original method so it's a very simple mod you do not need too much going on here you just gotta make this to give power and you just gotta cut one of your cable honestly you can cut the cable and you can match this two cables back later in future and just connect them together so you're really not losing much uh, your cable will still be there. You can make this cable longer, shorter, whatever you would like. Uh, I left a little bit longer so when I'm traveling in the car I can take it out the Wi-Fi router in case I want to or whatever for, what, for whatever reason uh, but so far it works like this. This mount. Now this mount I will post the link in the description again. This is 3D printed. I found a file on printables. It is not my file, but I used that person's design to put all these parts together. Um, it's okay. I feel like someone can maybe make a better 3D printing design, uh, but once you put that on once you put that on it really just all it is it's just uh you know it's less than an inch thick and it's not that heavy so this and the power supply and this is all you need for your starlink to be portable Going to be making a car 12 volt mount because like I said this is my 
backpacking mount, which I will use it with a 12 volt battery. But later I will make a cigarette lighter, which you can plug it into your car. I will use a 12 volt regulator in that. Uh, make sure when you plug it in, your voltage spikes doesn't fry your Wi-Fi board inside the dishy. So um, again, for Tesla, yeah, I can fit this on the roof of my car and it works through the glass. I've tested that before. So the Wi-Fi router facing down means it's going to be all over the car. Um, but if you have this on top of a vehicle that is metal roof, that's why what I mentioned earlier, that long cable, you can have that cable long enough that you can bring the router in your car and then use a 12 volt connector along with this and just plug it in to the Wi-Fi and you are good to go. Now I will need somebody's help to maybe possibly in future if someone can help me design a little box for this with the pins coming out and what I want to do great what I would like to do is make this connector like a real connector not with super glue and try to make it work but make this a real connector put it inside of a small box that I can attach this here and then just make a small thin box which will be the Wi-Fi router and then this cable just long enough goes in the car with a cigarette lighter right here and you just plug it in and you're done you do not need any additional things just this box for your router and a 12 volt cigarette lighter now this is for like RVs because obviously you're not gonna have Wi-Fi router on top of your roof uh, I don't know but maybe you wouldn't so just make this into a box where you can take it out but for Tesla this will work more than enough because like I said this thing works on top of the roof through the glass and here you can see the Starlink system is in my car working through Tesla's front windshield and connected with the 12 volt battery and the system is online there we go so uh, thank you for watching the video uh, please like and subscribe because there's going to be more mods that I will be doing soon thank you for watching